to myself What a wonderful world What's going on everybody and welcome back to SoCal Explorer. My name is Scott. You're watching the number one stop for all things theme park related. And welcome back to yet again another Emperor Construction Update. It's been about two weeks since I've been out here filming an Emperor Construction Update. So a lot has happened since the last time I filmed an update. So we got a lot of stuff to cover. We got a lot of stuff to see. I'm not going to be going inside the park today to film anything just because of how busy it is. But I will get as much angles as I can from the construction site here in the further part of the SeaWorld parking lot. If you're new here, subscribe with those bell notifications on because we're doing theme park updates weekly. Like I said, if you're new, hello, my name is Scott and welcome to SoCal Exploring. Follow us on social media at SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter and visit our website SoCalExploring.com. All right, let's go check out how Emperor is doing here at SeaWorld San Diego. So the last time we were here, just to get a glimpse of what what was going on the last time we were here the inversion right here was only halfway done it like went up to about that point right there and now what you're looking at now the inversion the first inversion is complete and it dives right in to a turn right over here and now they're already starting on another inversion right in there so quite a lot has happened since the last time we came here, like I said. I brought the zoom lens today again, because last time that we filmed an update, I had the G7X out, and it, I mean, obviously, that's just a digital camera, it's not a DSLR, so I only had the zoom on that. You can see a lot more work going on here at the construction site. Also, you can see that that building right there is painted to fit the colors of the attraction. We don't know quite yet what that building is going to be used for. My guess is the a small gift shop or where you can view your photos at, or maybe even the educational thing that's gonna be added to this ride, which we don't know yet what's, what conservation program they're gonna partner with because usually when they open up attractions here at SeaWorld, they partner with a conservation program. So maybe that could be the educational area, or like I said, a gift shop, or where you can see your ride photos. They are starting to work on the ramp right here. As you can see, this will be the exit ramp for the attraction. They've also put up a fence over there. But this will be where guests will exit the attraction. Not a lot um, has been done with the station yet. But you can definitely see that they're putting the ramp in, the exit ramp in. Over here, there used to be a walled off, or not a walled off, but a fenced off area to hold the tracks and other parts. But since last time I've been here, now it's removed. Wonder what it is. I wonder if they're starting to move the, or just load all the tracks into the actual construction site instead of having them out here. But that's gone. You can see some more supports right over there. This construction site is starting to get more like crazy because it's like everything is looking all um, confusing right now. There's just supports everywhere, there's track everywhere compared to how it has been where we were able to see that it was just the drop hill and the lift hill and the station and that was about it. And then as of recently they started to work on the inversions and such. Oh, I can actually see track way over there. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but there it is. There's some track back there. So they're definitely storing track in the construction site now. Way in the back. Here's another look at that inversion right over here. As you can see, the support's there for that finished part. So as it stands right now, for those of you guys who haven't watched like the animation video yet or anything, you start off over here, 
You make your way up that lift hill, you drop down that vertical drop, go into the first inversion, and then come across over here, and then go up and around to that inversion right there. And then the rest we'll talk about when they start to install more track, or install more track. I said in store, install more track. Here's a better look at that station and the exit ramp that's being placed right now. It's quite exciting to see, actually. So these black pillars right here, I'm assuming, are going to be for a fence that will separate the parking lot from just the random roller coaster that's right here. Because obviously they need to gate it off because this will be a part of the park once it opens up. So I'm assuming they're going to start on the fence very soon. It goes way down there. You can see those black pillars going way down. And I'm assuming we'll start to see them more installed over here as well. But I have spotted more track in the construction site way back there. As you can see, all just a lane there. Over here is definitely a great view. I wasn't able to walk over here, like I said before, because, I mean, they still have it coned off, but before they had it fenced off. So I wasn't able to walk over here. But this is a pretty good view, or a, a good view in a different angle of Emperor. Looks like they just got a pile of dirt in there. I wonder what that's for. But this is exciting because a lot of stuff is going on over here. Like I said, it just looks like a, a conjunction of stuff right now. Track supports dirt. Other miscellaneous construction pieces. It's quite interesting. Well, that wraps it up for today's Emperor Construction Update. Lots of stuff going on here at the construction site in the SeaWorld parking lot. Very exciting stuff. Like seeing those pillars to me was just very exciting because it means that we're getting closer to the opening of Emperor SeaWorld's brand new dive coaster coming this year. We don't have an opening date yet, but we know that it's going to be opening this year. So very exciting stuff. Subscribe if you're new here because we're doing theme park updates like this weekly from SeaWorld, Disneyland, Universal Studios, Hollywood, and other theme parks in the Southern California area. Make sure you have those bell notifications on. Follow our social media at SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter and visit that website SoCalExploring.com. My name is Scott Yubin watching the number one stop for all things theme park related, SoCal exploring, positivity is key, and most importantly, signing off from the Emperor construction site. Posit or most importantly, I messed up my own outro, that was weird. Most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace.